Okay, well, here is the review for Superman Return, the video game. Okay, uh, let me just tell you right now, uh, this game is not very good. Uh, it, the graphics are not terrible, but really, they're very glitched. Uh, there is a large city to explore. It has a nice soundtrack. It does, like, you know, for all that shit. But the sound, the sound design itself, besides the soundtrack, is just you know, it's just balls. Uh, not much to say about this game. It's definitely not uh, Superman 64, and thank God for that. I mean, really, thank thank Madre for that. Uh, uh, but it's nowhere near as good as maybe like maybe Batman Begins the game because that game was just woo. I love that game. Uh, and hopefully the new Batman game will be better than this incoherent piece of shit. Uh. Yeah, I said it. Uh, it's an incoherent piece of shit. Uh, what else? All right, let me just tell you about this. Uh, the the graphics for 360 are bad, but 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 if you just count it as a game graphics, it's okay. The character models are good. The cutscenes aren't bad. Uh, they're pretty stiff sometimes, but they have some good visuals overall for the. You know, what? I'll just say pretty good. Uh, the controls are pretty, pretty, pretty uh, easy. Uh, you're Superman, so even if you screw up a lot, you won't get hurt, okay? Let me tell you about this. Now, uh, the city has a life bar, okay? So you have to pretty much protect the city. It doesn't matter about your life. When your life goes all the way down, all you have to do is tap the A button about, I mean, the Y button about 20 times. Uh, and then you'll get right back up. Okay, so your life is, there's no point of life, okay? But it, in every, in every, like, level... Uh, you'll have to like protect something. Most of the time, it's a city. In one, uh, in one uh, level, you had to uh, get your audience level because you're fighting in an arena. You had to get your audience level up. So it's pretty much the same thing as uh, you never get a break. Let me just tell you that. Now I never played the Bizarro uh, bonus levels only because after I beat the game, I just didn't want to play any, any anything anymore. Uh, also. Uh, even if even even if you get the destroy shit, it wouldn't be satisfying anyway. Cause pretty much, that's pretty much what I do as Superman anyway. And yes, I did use a cheat code. I used a cheat code for uh, infinite uh, city health because it's really frustrating. The boss fights are frustrating. The end boss is a freaking tornado. Now that's not spoiling anything. If you read a review, you're gonna see the boss fight at the end is a freaking tornado. It's not even freaking Kevin Spacey. Uh, uh, Lex Luthor. It's a freaking tornado. You never, you don't fight some stupid Lex Luthor robot or something like he doesn't get into a mech. Even though, well, shit. The uh, yeah, most movie games don't even follow the movie that much. So it could have just, it could have followed its own story. It didn't even follow the movie story. First of all, I didn't like the movie one bit. I didn't like this game one bit. So they go uh, pretty much a. Uh, Sums it up right there. This game is terrible. I got this game for ten bucks. I wish I had my ten bucks back now. Save it up for Fable 2. Yes, I'm buying Fable 2. I uh, I reviewed it already. I rented it though. I love this game so much. I'm gonna buy it. Uh, and and when Left 4 Dead comes out, I'll buy that too. Uh, yeah. Anyway, not much to say about this piece of shit. Uh, if I have to give it overall, just look on the description. Okay. I hope you like this review. This one's a really short review. Uh, I'm, try I'm trying to pretty much uh, make it make it a little shorter, but not show my TV screen anymore, and just show you some clips. Anyway, tell me what you think about this game. If you're mad because I gave it a low score, then uh, I don't know to you. something's wrong with you because this game is just goddamn terrible. Anyway, thank you and bye.